After Sir Barsley, Liverpool are now trying to sign a £40 million player. Liverpool are now working on a move to sign nice midfielder Kefren Thuram. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp realises how important this summer is to the club's long-term future. Alexis McAllister has arrived at Anfield after a brilliant season for Brighton and Argentina. After a manic Friday, Liverpool also triggered the release clause of Leipzig playmaker Dominic Sobarsly. Now Liverpool are working on the final piece of the midfield puzzle on Kefren Thuram. Thuram, 22, is already a France national team player and had a very successful campaign last year. Newcastle are also keen on the 14 million euro midfielder, which forced the Reds to take action. Having three new midfielders out the door before the pre-season kicks off would be a victory for Klopp and his coaching team. Speaking about the nice star, Galetti said, Liverpool are stepping things up for Kefren Thuram. Liverpool are looking to close the gap with Nice soon to anticipate the competition from Newcastle, which is starting to act concretely for the player, he said. Liverpool have allowed a number of midfielders to lead this summer. Naby Keita, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, and James Milner were released, while Arthur Mello's loan contract ended. This means that Liverpool must invest heavily in this area. But there are a few young stars who could play a bigger role. Kefren Thuram could fit well with McAllister given his defensive acumen and ability to get the ball across the field. Their task will then be to get the ball to Sobarsly, who has a wealth of offensive talent ahead of him, to work at Liverpool. Liverpool, working on Thuram, show they fear an approach from Newcastle soon. Eddie Howe's side is close to signing Sandro Tunnelly but hasn't been able to stop Sobarsly from making his way to the Reds. Thuram emerged as a leading target for Klopp after his performance with Nice in League One, and the 22-year-old has already made 138 appearances. Reports suggest Nice is asking at least €40 million Euros for Thuram, who is said to be willing to move to Anfield this summer. Considering the triple midfielder that Klopp has been playing for years, the pieces fall into place. Thuram will fill the number six position in a deeper role, while ahead of him McAllister and Dominic Sobarsly will fill the number eight role. This trio looks pretty exciting for next season. Kepren Thuram looks like he will have a big rivalry with Fabinho. The Brazilian player performed quite ineffectively last season and was less favoured by Klopp throughout the season. Considering Fabinho's advancing age, Thuram's transfer also gives a positive signal for the future. The French star has a long career to take on this role after Fabinho. Leeds signed its interest in signing the 26-year-old Liverpool actor. While future transfers are eagerly awaited in Liverpool, the names that will leave the team are of great importance. The Reds sent Fabio Carvalho to Leipzig this summer on a king deal. Also, Milner, Firmino, Chamberlain and Cater left the team for free. However, things will not end there. Leeds United are reportedly interested in signing Liverpool defender Nathaniel Phillips. According to the information transferred, Leeds United made a phone call with the manager of the 26-year-old English defender and the details of the transfer were discussed. It has been stated that Leeds, who will play in the championship next season after being relegated from the Premier League, is interested in the English centre-back. Nathaniel Phillips is seriously considering leaving Liverpool for Leeds United during the summer transfer window. It's hard to see the 26-year-old taking so much time at Liverpool next season. After all, the defender was loaned to Bournemouth in the second half of last season. It's clear that Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp doesn't think Phillips is good enough to play for the A-team regularly. Leeds is a big club that will be determined to return to the Premier League. Phillips could be a regular in the championship for Leeds and is seriously considering moving to Elland Road in the summer transfer window. The English defender, who did his best during his time at Liverpool, was already making plans to leave at the beginning of last season. However, due to injuries at the start of the season at Liverpool, Klopp did not allow him to leave. The 26-year-old player had the chance to play for a very short time last season. Next season, he is not in the A-team plans and his departure seems like the most logical option both for the club and for his own career. 
Fabrizio Romano says the £15 million player would rather move to Spain than join Liverpool. It has been reported that if Arda Gala, who is the target of Liverpool, leaves Fenerbahce, he will give priority to go to Spain's La Liga. Gala is one of the best young talents in Europe and many clubs are said to be after him this summer. Liverpool are one of many clubs interested in the 15-year-old who only has a £18 million release clause. Journalist Fabrizio Romano gave an update on Gala's current situation. Right now, from what I've heard on Arda Gala's side, they want to consider all possibilities, said Romano. They want to talk to a lot of clubs so nothing has been confirmed yet. Also, Fenerbahce is really pushing the player to stay for at least one more season before letting him go in the summer of 2024. Barca made a verbal but concrete offer to Arda Gala. They presented the project for the future, but they also made a kind of offer to the player. At the moment it was just a conversation on the player's side to present the project and make an offer to the player. Now let's see what Gala decides because it's true that many clubs want him. As far as I can tell, I can say that La Liga is a priority for Arda, but let's see how this goes, said. Liverpool walked away from the Gala chase. Looking at the layout of the land, you have to say that Liverpool's chances of signing Gala look close to zero. Coupled with Romano's La Liga claim, news emerged this week that the Reds were withdrawing from talks to sign the Turkey national team player. Despite having a low release clause, it seems that plugins such as agent fees are set to inflate the package. It is claimed that Liverpool, which thinks that the total cost will be too high, has ended their talks with Gala. Whether they consider returning or not is anyone's guess. But with the likes of Barca and Real Madrid sniffing around, perhaps it's best to back off. Given Gala's potential, this could be a bit of a pain for Liverpool. Because Arda Gala is only 18 years old and has come to the fore as the best of his team. Despite his young age, he put his signature under a dazzling performance with his leadership and extraordinary abilities. As it can be understood from the fact that giants such as Barcelona and Real Madrid are after it, it has a great potential. They still have work to do in the transfer market though, so it's probably best not to hang around with a player who won't be coming for 12 months. Instead, the Reds are looking to go full throttle to complete their midfield restructuring. Another addition to the midfield is needed and work is underway for another defensive option. In this climate, Gala is not a priority signature. There is little doubt that he will be a good actor, but for now, it seems more beneficial for the big boys in Spain to have slugs in between for him.